<laughs> when he got drunk, <laughs> when he went down, what was... Like my life flashed before my eyes, but it was obvious that he was on balance. <laughs> but still, but still, you know, it's like you're You just never know, right? You just never know. You just never know. So now that it's your, it's, he's through the fight and he's won and impressively knocked him out, now how do you, can you focus now on Hopkins and what are your thoughts about the matchup for Sergey? Obviously, it's a fight that Sergey wants very much. It's a fight that we very actively pursued. Sergey has said from the start he just wants to fight the very best. He wants to test his skills against the very best. Um, he just wants to be in big fights. I think that's the mark of great fighters. That's all they want to do is be in big fights. And, uh, we're thrilled. We couldn't be more happy. Are you guys going to be withdrawing your lawsuits now that, because of the Stevenson fiasco? Uh, we, we'll talk about that with the lawyers on Monday. We have to decide. We'll see. Do you have a, uh, is November 8th? We did get what we wanted. So. Is November 8th the date? Uh, most likely. Most likely. Any site yet? No, no site. Yeah. Basically, Brooklyn wants it and Atlantic City wants it, so we're going to see who wants it most. The way that Sergey finished the fight in the second round with the three knockdowns, what were you, how did you think that he, uh, did you like? Did you notice or think that maybe he was thinking about Hopkins going in? He said he wasn't, but I would think it's hard not to. You know, I was when I saw him go down in the first round, I thought, okay, you know, that's, that's loss of focus for a moment. And think about the pressure that was on him tonight. Um, and, you know, you never want to sign a contract for a big fight be the day before a fight like this. But we had a situation with the IBF where it couldn't be helped. So uh, just another another testament to, to his ability to, to, to withstand. I mean, this kid has been through a lot of stuff that has gone wrong with his career. And uh, cer cer certainly since he's been with us, you know, he's had his, his, his fight with uh, the first time he was supposed to be fighting um, uh, Campillo, who, by the way, turned out to be a lot better, a lot less shot than everybody thought he was. Uh, you know, that fight got, can't, got postponed. He had to wait. You know, we finally fought him. Uh, he, 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 we had to go to England to fight for the title. It wasn't, you know, nothing got handed to him. How about him. the way that he finished tonight, though? Well, that's, that's the crusher. That's where he got his name. <laughs> you think the lack of a uh, challenge that he faced today is going to hurt him when he faces Bernard Hopkins? Because we don't expect Bernard to fold like this guy did. No, not at all. Look, uh, he wants to fight a greater challenge. Most of the, they've all folded like this. He wants to get in the ring with somebody who won't. That's the whole point. So, yeah, no. I, 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 like all the other fans out there, I just want to see what he does. Uh, Kathy, when you, when you think of good young fighters like Kelly Pavlik and uh, maybe like um, uh, Tavoris Cloud, who were derailed by, by Hopkins, any reservations in going into a fight like this with uh, Kovalev riding such a high? Absolutely not. You know something? I was thinking about this the other day. If Ray Leonard fought Roberto Duran early in his career. Most of you probably don't even remember he lost that fight. You can't fear losing and back down from a challenge because you fear a loss. Leonard, Hagler, Hearns, Duran, Tyson, Lewis, Holyfield, you know, uh, that, uh, Ty, that whole crew, I forget, Bo, that, that whole crew of fighters. If they had said, oh, geez, well, it's, you know, it's not going to be good for my brand if I lose. Do you have box what also? the hell happened to this sport? The whole idea there? is you get in the ring and you fight the best and you test your skill. And when that happens, when two fighters, great fighters get in the ring, there is no loser. Because both will have a career. Both will move on. I'll bet none of you realize when, when, I, when you think of it at the top, off the top of your head, you know, what's the biggest win Mike Tyson ever had in his career? It's probably, uh, what, uh, Michael Spinks or Jerry or, or Larry Holmes. He lost big fights, but you know, he's Mike Tyson because he took them. And so, no, I have no reservations. How, how is your opinion of Golden Boy changed since March, since we were here last time in Atlantic City? Uh, Golden Boy? Uh, well, you know, uh, it was a pleasure doing business with him. <laughs> is, is I could never have made that statement before. Is this fight going to be through Golden Boy on HBO, or is it just. We are co promoting with Golden Boy and the fights on HBO. Do you have any comments on the NBC Al Heyman contracts and all that kind of stuff? You know what? There's just no point. When do you, when do you guys think you'll, have, you'll know the site the next couple of weeks? Okay. Now, will you, will you guys request anything besides the standard commission test for this fight? No, that hasn't even been discussed. Hey, would you like it, though? Uh, I, I tend to you get this personally head, believe that it's the commission's job to regulate. That's my own personal belief. Um, the subject hasn't even come up. Is is it, a, just, the commission should just advance to sign a contract without having all the terms. I know that you know it's not the forefront of your mind, but often we see contracts get signed and then testing get brought up later. You know, 
again, it did come up. I don't know that either side is going to demand it. I think the commissions uh, have to take the lead in that. And I don't, I don't necessarily believe that it's up to boxing promoters to, uh, to regulate. I think it's a bad, bad way to go. But when commissions don't take the lead, which they haven't been doing the same way that Major League Baseball did for a long time, doesn't it, the specific testing, the stringent testing, have to start somewhere? You know, again, my personal belief is that we are not qualified to do it. And I have seen where promoters have done it and they have, and, and, and look, there are situations where people agree to do it and the tests don't even get done. It's, it's ridiculous. I think that you've got two great fighters here and I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna assume they're cheating. Let's see what happens. Did you get the I'm trying to get it. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Thanks Kevin.